Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am super excited about this Sunday message, not only because it is Easter Sunday, but because I have a great word for you um, that I have been just meditating on and just hearing a few messages this past week about Easter and Jesus and what he's done for us. It's just so beautiful to see the outcome of his love for the world and his love for his people. And so I wanted to start off with reading a scripture and from there I'll just kind of like dig deep into that scripture and talk about what it means to me and then also talk about the relevance of how it is in this world right now. So it is in Matthew 20:28, 20, and it says, For even the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many. And this is just one of the most beautiful scriptures to me because God could have sent Jesus here in any way, in any form. He could have sent him here as this giant, powerful king and just controlling and ruling over all the world. And instead he sent him as a carpenter, as a lowly man who grew up with nothing, who had a small family, who was raised in a small town. And you know, he came from nothing when he started out in this world. And it's just an encouragement because the scripture says he came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And so just to think about our lives and all that he has done for us, you know, it just gives me so much hope in life to know that our Jesus Christ who lived here on this earth came from nothing and was nothing and he was raised up and he ended up dying on the cross for all of our sins and he ended up coming back to life and raising from the dead and saving all of humanity from sin and it's just such a beautiful thing to see that our God and our Jesus could do that for us and so I really want to apply this to our lives and how can we be like Jesus and how can we have hope like Jesus had hope when he was here because he was treated it harshly he didn't have a throne or a kingdom in this world and he wasn't overall and he didn't have servants and people serving him and you know giving him stuff and all of these things he was doing that he was serving and he was giving to people and he was loving people it's just a great reminder in our life that we are here just as Jesus is here not to be served but to serve and to love others and to help raise people up to knowing who Jesus really is and what he did on the cross for us. And that he raised from the dead and gave life back to all of us. And so it's just a great reminder of that. And it just helps me know that, you know, I came from nothing and I grew up with not a lot of things and not in a kingdom. I didn't have a rich family and I didn't have all of these things, but it was okay. And I always had hope because that's what Jesus came from. And he ended up saving the world and witnessing to the world and showing the world God's love. And it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you were raised. It doesn't matter who you came from. It doesn't matter any circumstance in your life or any situation that whatever you have come from and whatever you have been through, that God can use it for his good. And he doesn't care where you've been. He doesn't care what you've done, that you can be saved and you can be restored and you can be washed away of all your sins and that you can be forgiven because Jesus has already done the work. Jesus has already died on the cross for us. Jesus has already raised from the dead and showed us life again. And so just an encouragement to you guys to just know that you have purpose and know that you you can have hope in Jesus Christ. If you just read the Bible and you can look at his life and look at all that he did here and how he did it, and you can see that he did it out of nothing and he, he made things out of nothing. And so just to have hope that God can make you something out of nothing and that you can believe and that you can know that he is good and he is for you and that he loves you. And you know that Jesus died for you for you individually, for your sins, and you can have all of your sins washed away if you ask God for forgiveness. And I really do believe that somebody out there watching this is either going through something or they have been through something or they have been raised in not a great household and they have come from nothing. But just remember to have the hope of Jesus that he has already paid the price for your sins. He has already taken what you have lost and he is bringing you back up and he is restoring you and rebuilding you and has a purpose for you. And you have to have hope and you have to believe that he is in control 
control and that he will make everything work out for your good because you love God. And so just wanted to tell you guys that and I hope you all have an amazing Sunday. I hope you all have an amazing Easter and that you spend time with your family and loved ones and whoever's around you and you just are grateful and thankful for the cross and you're grateful and thankful for Jesus Christ who has come back to life and who has showed us hope again. So I hope you guys have a great week and I love you so much and I'll see you next week.